good morning children so today we are going to learn about burning so in our previous class uh, we have discussed about a chemical change and a physical change so in a chemical change a new substance is formed and it is a reversible reaction and it is a permanent change and in a chemical reaction there will be a reactant side and a product side so now we are going to learn about a chemical reaction that is burning okay so burning is a chemical reaction so when something burns it reacts with oxygen in the air sometimes ashes are formed so when something burns oh, it is reacting with what it is reacting with oxygen okay so sometimes ashes are formed so the ashes contains new substances the new substances in the ashes are oxides okay so this is a chemical reaction so new substance is formed so the new substances contain what uh, here the new substance is the ash okay so when magnesium metal is burnt a white powder is formed okay so this powder is what magnesium oxide so a new substance has formed from magnesium and oxygen okay so when magnesium is burnt magnesium oxide is produced which is white in color which is a white powder okay so here the magnesium and oxygen are the reactants so they both are reacting together to produce magnesium oxide so here the magnesium oxide is the new substance so magnesium and oxygen are the reactants and magnesium oxide is the product so this is the magnesium ribbon so here when burning it will be producing a white powder which is known as magnesium oxide okay so this is very important so how to burn a magnesium so for that we have to set up a bunsen burner on a heat proof mat we are safety glasses so while doing experiment the most important thing is we have to follow the safety rules okay so take a small piece of magnesium ribbon like this okay and place in a so uh, some tongs hold the tongs at the arm length and place the magnesium ribbon in the bunsen flame once the magnesium ribbon has caught the fire remove it from the flame okay so the magnesium is burning to do not look directly to the flame okay particularly namala direct aite nokkeredu and magnesium burns very brightly and light could harm our eyes so, so that's the reason so here the while burning the magnesium and oxygen is combining and producing what magnesium oxide so this white powder is a magnesium oxide okay so looking at the reactants and products here the table compares the properties of the reactants and products when you burn magnesium okay so we can see the properties of products are different from those of the reactant so while burning magnesium there are two reactants that is magnesium and oxygen so what is the properties of magnesium magnesium is an element it is a solid at room temperature its appearance is soft shiny and malleable because it is a metal and it's conduct electricity because it's metal and its melting point is 651 degrees celsius uh, we know that metals have high melting point and oxygen is also an element but it is a gas which is colorless has no smell it will not conduct electricity because most of the non metals will not conduct electricity and its melting point is 200 minus 214 degrees celsius what about its product its products are what magnesium oxide okay its product is magnesium oxide and which is a compound okay because it contain more than two elements that are chemically bonded a compound is a what a substance which is chemically bonded and contains more, one or more element okay so which is solid white powdery it will not conduct electricity and its melting point is 2800 degrees celsius so its property is entirely different from those of its reactants alle adinte reactants inde endengilum oru characteristics or property or magnesium oxide nundo magnesium inde oxygen inde illa completely it's a different adayad it's a compound aanu or solid aanu white and powdery aanu so it's different okay so what is um, burning 
burning is a chemical reaction substances that is burned combines with oxygen and the products formed in a chemical reaction have different properties from the reactants okay so this is very important so next what we are going to learn is we are going to learn about the reaction with acids so there are different reaction with acid and the first we are going to discuss the reaction between metal and acid okay so when metal react with acid it will produce okay when metal react with acid it will produce salt plus hydrogen okay when metal react with acid it will produce salt plus hydrogen and here there is an example the magnesium is reacting with hydrochloric acid so it will be producing magnesium chloride and hydrogen so here the magnesium is displacing hydrogen and the hydrogen gas is formed okay so first it is a reaction between metal and acid magnesium plus hydrochloric acid will react together to produce magnesium chloride plus hydrogen okay so other metals and acids can react together in the same type of reaction that is zinc plus sulfuric acid here also the zinc will displace hydrogen so uh, hydrogen avadnu poya baaki ara sulfate mathram le sulfuric acid le so it will be zinc sulfate plus hydrogen gas so vada area displace in hydrogen yana displace in other so it is displacing hydrogen glass gas so metal plus acid gives salt plus hydrogen so this is a general equation metal plus acid gives salt plus hydrogen okay so here which gas is produced here hydrogen gas so how to confirm or how to test for this hydrogen gas so this is a test which is described here when we see bubbles forming during a chemical reaction we know that gas is being produced alle oru reaction cheyumba bubbles undengi namaku ariyan pattum avade endundu gas produced aayittund so we cannot tell what kind of gas it is oxygen aano carbon dioxide aano chlorine aano uh, hydrogen aano onnu ariyunnilla so we have to identify what type of gas it is okay so the diagram shows how can you test a gas to find out if it is hydrogen so what is the most important property of a hydrogen hydrogen a gas which is a also known as a burning gas so hydrogen gas burns with a squeaky pop okay hydrogen gas will burn with a squeaky pop so to carry out the test what we have to do is we have to light a splint and place in the mouth of the test tube okay so before that നമ്മൾ ഇവിടെ ഒരു തമ്പ് വെച്ച് ടെസ്റ്റ് ട്യൂബ് കവർ ചെയ്യണം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഹൈഡ്രജൻ ഗ്യാസ് എസ്കേപ്പ് ആയപ്പോൾ അപ്പോൾ നമുക്ക് ടെസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ ഗ്യാസ് ഉണ്ടാവില്ല സോ അങ്ങനെ ഹോൾഡ് ചെയ്യുക എന്നിട്ട് വി ഹാവ് ടു ഷോ അ സ്പ്ലിൻഡ് ആൻഡ് ടു ദ മൗത്ത് ഓഫ് ദ ടെസ്റ്റ് ട്യൂബ് സോ വി നീഡ് ടു കവർ ദ ഫിംഗർ ഫോർ വാട്ട് ഓൺ വൺ ഓഫ് എൻഡ് ഓഫ് ദ ടെസ്റ്റ് ട്യൂബ് അൺടിൽ ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് മൊമെൻറ്റ് ഓർ യു ഹാവ് നോ ഹൈഡ്രജൻ ഗ്യാസ് ടു ലെഫ്റ്റ് ടു ടെസ്റ്റ് so this is because hydrogen gas is lighter gas so it may escape from the test tube so when hydrogen pops it is reacting with oxygen in the air to form water okay so here what is the reaction is here ivada endonda oru pop varuna hydrogen plus oxygen is combining together to form water okay so ene test cheyandathu first test you just a light splint and place it in the mouth of the test tube we need to keep your finger over the end of the test tube until the last moment or uh, what happened you will have no hydrogen left to test so this is because hydrogen gas is lighter than the air alla adonda njan parna nammal angane hold cheythu vechilengi namukku oru gas in test cheyan undavilla ad easy aayittu escape cheyam density valare koravana so nammal oru splint vekkya adu oru squeaky pop la produced aagum hydrogen gas aanengil why because hydrogen is combining with oxygen to produce water okay so this is the test result about the hydrogen so when a metal react with acid the following reaction takes place that is metal plus acid gives salt metal salt plus hydrogen gas so a metal salt and hydrogen gas are always produced for example magnesium plus hydrochloric acid will produce magnesium chloride plus hydrogen gas 
So here the magnesium is displacing hydrogen in combining with chlorine to produce magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas. Okay. So all acid contain what hydrogen unless so for nitric acid, sulfuric acid. So all this is nitric acid, this is sulfuric acid, this is uh, hydrochloric acid. All atom in the common nitrogen hydrogen. So here the metal will displace the hydrogen from its acid. Okay. So, all acid in common nitrogen hydrogen. So, this hydrogen will be displaced. Okay. So, the salt formed will be depend on the acid which is used. So, here if it is nitric acid, we produced in the salt nitrate nitrogen because H displaces I. Baki R can combine Gia, nitrate nitrogen can combine Gia. Okay. Pole, if it is sulfuric acid, hydrogen displaced I. Baki R can combine Gia, sulfite item. So, sulfate salt item and our. Adevala hydrochloric acid running H will be displaced. So, Baki R is the chlorine. So, chlorides are the form our. So, these are the general things which we have to follow. So, here. Uh, metal plus hydrochloric acid gives metal sorry magnesium plus hydrochloric acid gives magnesium chloride plus hydrogen so i told you the magnesium will be displacing hydrogen and forming magnesium chloride next for example calcium plus hydrochloric acid okay so here also it is chl chloric acid so the salt produced will be chloride so calcium chloride plus hydrogen and here Calcium is combining with nitric acid. So, A the salt I can produce our nitrate. Calcium nitrate plus hydrogen. And here calcium is combining with sulfuric acid. So, A the salt I can form our calcium sulfate plus hydrogen. So, L so, uh, acid in name hydrogen displays it and the corresponding salt in our chain. Sink plus hydrochloric acid. Even a chloride on So, sink chloride plus hydrogen. Magnesium plus nitric acid. So, nitric acid running either salt to produce our nitrate. Magnesium nitrate plus hydrogen. So, and here magnesium plus sulfuric acid running magnesium sulfate plus hydrogen. So, this is about the reaction and we have studied the test also, right? So, we have to show a, a splint like that is we have to uh, show a lighted splint and it will be burning with the skew keep off and we can confirm the presence of what hydrogen gas okay so i hope this topic is clear for you if you have any doubt please message me children thank you